Hello viewers, welcome to Amad Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about the Human Genome Project. The Human Genome Project was an international scientific research project whose signature goal was to generate the first sequence of human genome. Human Genome Project is actually a collaborative project of multiple international companies profit and non-profit and the goal was to sequence whole human genome it is actually a collection of genetic information of a cell including coding non-coding and regulatory elements in the genome some sequences they are expressed that sequences are called coding some are not expressing they are known as non-coding and some sequences they are actually related to the regulation of other gene expression so human genome project has the information of all the genes non-coding and regulatory elements this project started in 1990 and then completed in 2003 Human Genome Project produced a genome sequence that accounted for over 90% of the human genome and it was as close to complete as the technologies for the sequencing DNA allowed at that time. Now the technologies they have progressed very much but at that time or in 2003 the sequence which was presented was considered 90% completed. Now coming towards that how they perform the human genome sequencing or what techniques were used. First of all what they did that they extracted the DNA from the human cells. After the extraction of genomic DNA they use restriction digestion to cleave DNA into thousands of fragments. For the restriction digestion they used endonucleases. Endonucleases are the restriction enzymes that are going to cut the DNA. So by the help of endo-restriction nucleases, they obtain thousands of fragments of DNA. After that, they inserted these fragments into BAC. BAC is actually a bacterial artificial chromosome. This BAC worked as a vector. So the DNA molecules, they were inserted into BAC. After that, they use PCR to amplify the fragment so one DNA molecule was amplified for like thousands of time by the help of PCR after the amplification they prepared the plasmid DNA library in the library they have the collection of all the DNA fragments inserted in BAC or in vector after that they sequenced this library the sequencing of library was done after that you find out the sequence and the correct sequence was find out by the overlapping of the strings together in the form of overlapping for example if you have one fragment with a c t a and other fragment with t a g c so in the overlapping method what will you do that you will take a you will take c this t and this t matches with each other they are overlapping with each other so we have t this a and a overlapping with each other we have a and then for this we have g and c so in this way they find out the sequence of the DNA by the overlapping method and in this way they generated large set of data which showed the sequence of the whole DNA or whole genome present in human. Now why human genome project was performed? There were main two goals related to HGP or human genome project. The first goal was to construct a genetic map of human genome. The genetic map means that they wanted to find out that how genes they are arranged along the length of each chromosomes. We know that in humans 24 chromosomes are present and each chromosome has genes but how these genes they are arranged it means that chromosome 1 has which genes which gene come first which comes second which come third then same in chromosome number 2 which gene comes first and which comes 
second and which comes third by the help of sequencing they find out the map of genes for example here we have a map of chromosome x you can see this is our x chromosome and from the start to the bottom they have identified the genes that okay starting here we have this gene then we have this gene and similarly going down we know that which part of the chromosome has particular gene for example if somebody is telling me that okay tell me where the hemophilia a gene is present i can say that okay on the chromosome x and on the chromosome X, hemophilia A gene is present in this particular location. So in this way, we can find out that which gene is present on which chromosome and on what particular location. So that was the first goal of the Human Genome Project. This goal is going to help in the identification of disease-causing genes. For example, the Huntington disease, which is related to the brain, in which the neurons, they started to die and the daily functions, they are interrupted. For example, the voluntary control of the body, it's shaken or the person uh, is going to forget the things or normal things that it has to be performed. So the Huntington disease has unique restriction site which cuts the DNA. So we can identify uh, a person having Huntington disease and a person not having the Huntington disease by the study of the position of the gene on the chromosome and by using the unique sites present on that particular gene. The human genome is actually 25 times larger than any genome which has been sequenced so far. Now, coming towards the another goal, the second goal of the Human Genome Project was to construct a base sequence map. Base sequence means that we know that in the DNA, four bases are present, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. The second goal was to find out that how these four bases are arranged along the 24 chromosomes or each gene has what particular sequence of these bases there are three billion base pairs in the human genomes so the scientists find out the sequence of these three billion base pairs by the help of human genome project knowing the base pair of normal gene will help in the treatment of certain human genetic diseases for example here we can see that this is the genetic map and here we have our chromosome this genetic map is going to tell us that okay at position 20 this gene is present at position here this gene is present at position here this gene is present now for example i wanted to study this particular gene i should know the sequence of that gene the second goal of the human genome project allowed me to study the gene sequence why because they studied the base sequence now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this gene and this gene has this base sequence and I can easily study this base sequence. I know that how the four bases they are arranged in my desired gene or the gene I wanted to study. And so in this way, through Human Genome Project, the scientists, they find out the sequence of genes on each chromosome and the sequence of bases in each gene and sequence of bases in the DNA of human. So that was our lesson about the Human Genome Project. If you still have any question related to this topic, you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.